The Assassination of Abraham Lincoln In the night of April 14, 1865, Abraham Lincoln found himself in attendance at a theater play in Ford's Theater, located in Washington, D.C. The president's box was positioned on the balcony level, offering a clear view of the stage. John Wilkes Booth, a sympathizer of the Confederate cause, surreptitiously entered the theater's backstage area, stealthily advancing towards the presidential box. It is important to note that at this juncture, the president's bodyguard, John F. Parker, should have been prepared. Regrettably, due to a perceived absence of threats, Parker was granted permission to depart. Consequently, Booth approached Lincoln from the rear and discharged a solitary round into the back of Lincoln's head, severing his spinal cord. The sudden sound of the gunshot jolted the audience, inducing a state of confusion and panic.